What's up? It's Andy. I'm here to help you take on the house today. It's going to be me and you versus the house on No House Advantage. No House Advantage is an awesome new fantasy platform. It combines player props with fantasy and it rolls it into one simple platform where you pick player props and make money. There are two types of contests. Today, we're going to use the verse the house feature where if you get five player props right, you net up to 20 times your money. Then there's the pick em contest which is like a tournament style contest where the more player props that you pick correctly, the higher you ascend in the standings towards a top prize, just like any other tournament. Make sure you check out that video that we actually submitted yesterday. But today, we're gonna try to take on the house and net up to five times our money. If you go to No House Advantage using the link in the description of this video, they're actually gonna match your first deposit up to 50 bucks. It's a great deal, take advantage of it. Only so many weeks left in this NFL regular season, but do you wanna know why it doesn't matter? Because on No House Advantage, you can mix sports, you can take two from the NHL, you can take two from the NFL. I'm gonna focus on NFL today, but if you're a jack of all trades, or in my case, a jack of all sniffs, then feel free to mix and match player props from different sports to get that 20 times your money. But today I'm gonna focus on the Jets and Jags. And I personally believe, along with the lines makers, that this is gonna be a crusty, low scoring game. It's gonna be the under over is set at like 37. And when it's that low, I actually like taking the under. I believe this is gonna be, and this is not a, you know, for all sports betting advice, you go to Odds Shopper. I have a Thursday night football video, however, that's actually going to guide my picks for this versus the house contest. First of all, I'm taking the under on Trevor Lawrence's passing yards. In a game in the Northeast with winds and rain, cold, this long-haired Florida Fabio, I believe is going to have more of a controlled approach. I think it's going to be a lot of short to intermediate stuff. Running the ball, this game is supposed to be close. And I don't think they're going to have to wing it all over the place like they have had to the last couple of weeks when they trailed in some of these games. So I'm going to take the under on Trevor Lawrence passing yards along with the under on Travis Etienne rushing yards. They have the total set very high. I know he's a dynamic runner when you get him in space. However, the Jets defense is going to be playing for their lives out there. And before last week, he had a pretty good week on the ground last week. But before that, he was struggling during the second half of the year. Don't forget, this is basically a rookie. Missed his whole rookie year, has never played a season this long, going back to his college days. Maybe that wear and tear starting to pile up on him. And then once again, a cold wintry night in the Northeast against the Jets defense doesn't look like optimal conditions to break out on the ground, if you ask me. Then uh, as far as the Jets go on their side of the ball, I believe they're gonna try to run the ball as much as possible. I'm going to take the under on Zach Wilson's passing yards, I'll tell you that. I believe the Jets are going to run a ton and try to limit the mistakes from Wilson, have their defense and running game win them this, because if you're going to have your season on the line, you're going to default to your best characteristics and traits, and that's going to be the Jets' defense. So I'm going to take the under on Zach Wilson's passing yards, but I am going to take the over on Evan Ingram's receiving yards. We've seen the last couple of weeks... Trevor Lawrence really seems to be trusting him. It's not just like earlier in the year where it's, okay, two or three catches, maybe an end zone target. He's really been raking up those targets these last couple of weeks. And in a game where I think they're going to attack underneath an intermediate to try to methodically move the ball down the field, I think he's the one good bet, at least one that I feel comfortable with, to go over. And those are some of the picks that I got for you to help you beat the house on this Thursday night. You can always go to stochastic.com and check out their projections for this contest. They have free optimal lineups and projections for the No House Advantage contest. You should definitely check that out. It will be worth your while. All right, everybody, I'll be back with you to talk about the Pick'em contest on Saturday. We've got another slate of Saturday games, which is always a nice thing to see. I will be back with you then. Take it easy.